But this from Thrillo. I did not see the video of, of all the scouts at the Cy Fair girls basketball game, but I'm sure they were there to see Aliyah Chavez. The Buckeyes were in the building. Thrillo, I'm being serious, but I'm not being serious. Was Coach Huey there? Did you see Coach Huey in the video? <sighs> but Aliyah Chavez, here's a quick, quick info. Aliyah Chavez attends Lubbock Monterey High School. Will in sure. Lubbock, Texas. Okay. As Thrillo mentioned here, she plays AAU ball for Cy Fair. Mm -hmm. Cy Fair is in the Houston area. Okay. Thrillo, for Will's knowledge, type in Justin to whatever. How far it is from Cy Fair, Houston, to Lubbock? <laughs> okay, just, just type, type in how far it is between. You want to do miles, driving distance, hours, whatever. How far it is between Lubbock and Houston? Oh, you know, some folks hate on it. I mean, I mean, it. The Olympics oh. is business. I, you know, I, I don't have a problem with it one way or the other. You, you know, eight hours. Eight hours. C837 wow. says eight hours between Lubbock and Houston. Oh, wow. But Aliyah Chavez, class of 2025, she'll be a senior in a few months in high school at Lubbock Monterey, the top girls high school player in the country, mm. has range like Caitlin Clark. She's the next Caitlin Clark already, already, <laughs> already. But Come she's through. Latina, okay? So she got a different, she brings a different fan base and demographic to mm -hmm. women's college basketball. Mm -hmm. Her final, I'm going to probably miss somebody, but her, I think some of her top her top 10, Texas Tech. Ohio State. Ohio oh, State. Throwing that out there. Texas. Yeah. UCLA, USC. South Carolina, right? LSU, South Carolina. Arizona, Tennessee, and I may be forgetting somebody else. Okay, but yes, the Cy Fair program is one of the top girls AAU programs in the country. They've had elite players go on, you know, like the Gumake sisters, you know, go to big time programs. I don't, I don't want to say how many of them have gone to. UH. <clears throat> Let's leave it at yes, that. You do. You do no, I don't. I just, I'm, I'm saying it by not saying it. Yeah. Uh, Will yep. and, and C37. But I've, whew, how can I phrase this as we wrap it up here on this edition of Folks Talking Sports? This past, these last few days, two different people I trust in basketball on the women's side gave me different answers about whether they think. Aliyah Chavez will go for college. One person said, don't be surprised if she does go to Texas Tech. Okay. And it might be NIL related. Okay. As, as and I can give more details about that off the air, brother. Yep. The other person said, no, she's not going to Texas Tech. <laughs> she's going to either Texas, LSU, or South Carolina. So, we we shall see, but yes, Cy Fair is a great area for athletics. But if you're wondering, Chris, how can a girl play or go to high school in Lubbock, but play AAU ball in, at Cy Fair in the state, as long as it's within the state of Texas, the same state, or states that touch, it's not against NCAA regulations, so. <clears throat> She can do it. Now you can ask if y'all want to find out. Think about damn, how the hell is she practicing? <laughs> you know, eight hours. How does she? How's that done? How does she get from Lubbock to? Just let your mind wander, and you might not be far off. I found the top six. And Ohio State is out. Oh, sure, you the top six? Yes. No, it's LSU, Texas, South Carolina, UCLA, Oklahoma. Texas That's State. what I forgot. That's what I forgot. Yep. 
So she narrowed it down. So she must have narrowed it down like within the last few days. Then. Yep. Okay. Yes, yeah, like five days ago, I think. Yeah. After they finished up the um. Yep. The nationals. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I was gonna say it, Bob. You said it. <laughs> I was gonna say. It. <laughs> Houston, nowhere to be found in recruiting elite women players. I, yep. <laughs> I'll just probably put it out there. I'm just reading what he said. He ain't wrong, though. <laughs> <laughs> he is not I'm wrong. Not even, I'm not. I, I have a lot. Wrong. He is not wrong. But in the final moments, as Thrillo touched on it, because this is referencing this. Yeah. Stanford softball player transferred to Texas Tech. NIL deal was a million dollars. Part of it was what Tech is under armor because of Patrick Mahomes. But the other part is because of a husband and wife. Boosters, collective, whatever. Friends of also, the program. Mm-hmm, friends of the program. And that's why I just put out there, don't be surprised if those friends of the program go to Aaliyah Chavez and her people. Mm-hmm. Just saying, because you said she made their final six, right? Her yep. Made her final six. Yeah. And they have and they have not been nationally good in women's hoops for a long time. Cheryl okay. Swoops, maybe? Been a long time. Wow. But she gave, she gave us 47 in the National Championship game. Yeah. If, she, if she chose Texas Tech, it would be big, big news for the Big 12 women's hoops because on a national scale, Will, they just don't have elite players, mm-hmm. you know, nationally recognized players like the SEC. Now, Juju going to Big 10, SEC going to Big 10. They don't have players like that. Mm-hmm. You know, all they crooks at Iowa State. Yeah. She put she did work in the tournament. Mm-hmm. But prior to that, no one knew who she was unless you saw them play in Big 12, you know. Right. But <clears throat> this Justin knows this as well. Houston has to build up their givers. They got to talk to the younger alum, folks younger than me who, who have money and stop stop going through the same old oh, um, not older donors, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Thriller, wow. Thriller, they're 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 the ones who pointed up the money for them to go to ACC. That's where, that's where they are. Yeah. You know, those are the ones who pointed up that one hundred million dollars in seven days to, uh, you know, negate. Oh, we don't need media rights money. We're fine. We'll take care of ourselves for the next nine years. Who the hell does that? Who you know? Even if I don't need it, I'm gonna get all mine. Yeah, but, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But real quick, I've said that a few times. But the last sentence, the second sentence, Bobby says, Coach Sampson would be in all of them if he were coaching the women's team. Just as an example, a few weeks ago, maybe two, the top 25 composite rankings, top 25 boys, high school hoops, seniors. So the class of 25. Houston was mentioned for six of them. The job, this is another example, the job that Coach Sampson and his staff have done <laughs> yeah. 10 years ago, hell, five years ago, tw- top 25 kids in the country, yeah. six of them considering Houston. We would have, if I would have said that five years ago, Y'all might thought I was. What, what, what am I smoking? What, what are you? What are you on? Can you share? <laughs> but this is where they are now. They are nasty re- relevant and nasty recognized. It is just amazing. I, as an alum, I'm proud of it. I think they might get one of those six. They get two, that'd be tremendous. But I think they get one of those six. I'm. Don't ask me which one. Right. They get one of those six.